In my last video of why you should be mixing inside the engine for game audio instead of your DAW, we briefly touched on importing just sound effect layers and mixing those together instead of mixing full-fledged sound effects together inside the engine. So today in this video, I thought we'd dive a little deeper into that and actually show that work in progress. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you'd like to be a part of the Sound Effects Guy Discord channel, you'll find a link in the description below. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so I've got this little first person shooter map set up here, and I've already set the player up with a shotgun uh, that apparently the the barrel is just too sticky and he doesn't want to touch it. <laughs> anyway, um, what I've done is I've used Weaponizer from Krotos to export multiple layers of a shotgun sound. And you can use whatever samples you want. I just happened to pick up Weaponizer on a deal, so I thought I would use it. But what I have is I've got some shotgun body sounds. I've got some up close shotgun sounds. I've got some reverb tails. And then I've got a low frequency thump to give it some weight. And so I know that we've uh, talked about combining and grabbing random assets to mix into a sound using meta sounds but I don't think that we've ever actually covered grabbing random sounds from multiple indexes and mixing them together. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And uh, we're gonna be doing this all in one single meta sound. So let's go ahead and start by creating a meta sound. And we're just gonna call this shotgun. And open this up. I'm gonna pull this window out of the way. And since we're mixing four different elements, uh, we're actually gonna have four different wave players here. And we need to set up our indexes so that each wave player knows what group of sounds to pull from. So we're gonna start with our body layer and we're just gonna go ahead and make an input and we'll just call this body. And this is going to be a wave asset and we wanna make sure that it's an array so that we can add multiple elements to it. Now we've got five different elements to our body. So we're just gonna go ahead and add five elements to our array. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add those in here. Now off of our wave asset, we need to get a random so that it's just randomly pulling from this array. And we can right click. And now we're going to get that index. Now, since we're adding multiple wave players here, uh, first we're, we're gonna set this to stereo. And then we're gonna add a four channel mixer. And so what this mixer is gonna allow us to do is once we get all four of our assets set up, we can control now the volume of each one of those layers. So this is going to play a big part in essentially mixing everything in the engine. And so we'll come up here and we'll connect that. And so now when we hit play, you can hear now it's cycling through everything that we had put in that first index. And so we're just gonna do the exact same thing for the rest of these. Now, the thump, I do only have one single asset here. 
Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. And we can also connect this input down to this one. So now everything's firing at the same time. And we'll address that here in just a second. But I'm going to go ahead and get the other indexes set up here real quick. And then we can take a look at the actual mix process. All right, so we now have everything set up, all of our different indexes. And if we hit play here, what it's doing is it's randomly pulling from our body, it's randomly pulling from our onset and our tail, and it's mixing each of those variables together for our output. And so just with a few tiny clips of elements, we've now expanded the amount of variations we have far beyond if we were just inside our DAW, making little tweaks to things and printing out whole sound effects. Now, as I mentioned, uh, everything is all playing at the exact same time. And so in a DAW, you know, you would be pulling things over so your transients aren't quite lined up. That actually helps make an impact a little larger uh, if your transients aren't all just stacked on top of each other. And we can do the same thing here. Now, obviously, we don't have a timeline that we can drag things across. Uh, so inside the MetaSound, what we're going to do is we're actually going to right click and we're going to pull in a stereo delay. And if we move these over just a little bit, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to put it in between our wave player and the mixer. So go ahead and pull this over here. And now we'll connect this to our output. And by default, the wet level is already set to one and the dry level is set to zero. And the default time is one second. Uh, so if we hit play, it'll be a pretty noticeable delay. And so what we can do is we can adjust this. So maybe instead of one second, we just want 0.1. Well, maybe that's still a little bit too much. So then we can go 0.01. There we go. And so you can adjust this timeline however you see fit. Uh, but this is how you would adjust things on the timeline. And then if we wanted that initial uh, onset to be louder, we can add gain to that. Or we can subtract it. And so you would really go through and fine tune. Uh, you would use the delays for your timing and you would use the mixer for your volume. And you can play around with other things like adding envelope filters and things like that to this as well. Um, but again, really just the point that I wanted to make with this is that the file size of the individual assets that you're pulling in versus the amount of variations that you're able to create is going to be much smaller than if you were to actually create all of the possible variations inside your DAW and then import those final assets into your game. Then from there, all we have to do is go into our first person blueprint and pull up that shotgun meta sound, compile it and save it. And now when we go into our level, we have all of those variations inside our game. Now don't think that this only works for gunshot sound effects. Uh, we can actually do this for any sound effect. So just to give you another quick example, uh, here's some footsteps. I've got uh, several heels and several toe sounds. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. 
So like we did with our shotgun, uh, we're gonna have uh, multiple wave players. In this instance, since we have heel sounds and toe sounds, we're just gonna need two wave players. And we're gonna set up an index just like we did before. So we've got our indexes set up. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and get, uh, for this one, we're gonna do a two channel stereo mixer. And obviously your heel and toe are not gonna hit at the same time. So again, just like we did in the shotgun sound, we're also gonna put a stereo delay. So this way we can move that toe sound just a little bit further in the timeline. And so with our stereo delay set up, uh, we can come up here and hit play. And we now have a fully fleshed out footstep sound with a bunch of different variations. And you can hear that this is kind of loud. Uh, it sounds very close to the ear. And so what we're gonna do is Again, to mix everything within the engine, we're gonna use our stereo mixer and we're just gonna adjust this volume. And so if we hit play, you can now hear that those footsteps are a lot quieter. And again, you'll dial that into however the mix of your different sound effects and how they're all layered together uh, so that it's all one cohesive environment. So I know this was just a little bit shorter of a tutorial. I really just wanted to caveat off of the last video that I had done and kind of give a more in-depth look at mixing multi-layered sound effects in the engine versus in the DAW. So if you found this informative, great. Uh, if you'd like to see me cover anything specific, let me know in the comments below, or you can get a hold of me on the Sound Effects Guy Discord server. Until next time.